Hi everyone, welcome to Cars House. Today we're going to be fitting this Hambini bottom bracket, put our crank in, and we're going to be putting it into there. Welcome back. Um, last episode we fitted the calipers. So now we're going to fit the bottom bracket, but we've still got our DI2 hanging out. So first thing we're going to do is connect this up and make sure it works. Stuff it inside. Then we're going to insert the Hambini bottom bracket with uh, a thread bar. Then we're going to put the crank in and that'll be today's episode. Okay, so coming out of the junction box, we've got this one is the rear derailleur. That's the, that's the front derailleur. Uh, we've got the battery and that one connects up to the wireless unit into the handlebars. Um, I'm going to wrap some bubble wrap around here just to make it a little bit thicker so that it can sit in, in the tube and not rattle around as much. So I'll wrap it up and then we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've wrapped it up and it is now sitting around about here. So. I've just wrapped it um, in the bubble wrap you can see got the di2 wires coming off of it they all run nice and high so this is clear there we go clear straight through it's now time to put in the hambini bottom bracket okay to insert the hambini bottom bracket we'll need the bottom bracket itself insulation tools and a thread bar. This is um, just a thread bar I bought. It's an M12 for the one mil pitch thread. Basically, we're gonna thread the thread bar through here. This is the drive side with the lip, and we're just gonna put that on the other side. That goes on this side. The thread bar goes right through, and then we just press the button bracket into the frame. We're gonna put some retaining Loctite on the ends and inside the frame, and we'll get on with it. Um, I'm going to put some thread locker in there. We've got a thread locker around the Hambini bottom bracket. We've got our thread bar ready, so we'll set it up and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so we've got that set up. As you can see, we've got a nut, a washer, the installation tool, the bottom bracket with thread locker on. Moving over to this side, we have the installation tool, a nut and a washer. So I'm going to hold that nut steady and I'm going to turn this one and we will put it into the frame. Sorry about the background noise. They're just repairing the house over there. Uh, got a bit burnt. Okay, so we're half in. Now that was popping and banging, cracking and clanking, and all the other words starting with C, but it's half in. We just need to tighten it up um, so it's tight against the other side, and then we'll start tightening again. We've got a little bit to go, so we're just gonna press in it in till it's snug against the frame. Okay, so that's fully pressed in now. It's completely one piece sealed all the way through, so that's fine. Um, so we'll just put the crank in, see how it looks. But first we've got to put the Dalrin end caps on. Uh, it's just a case now of sliding through the crank. Okay, that is the crank on. Spins like a dream. Um, I've talked up the pinch bolts to 14. Um, there's actually a power meter on the other side which links to my head unit, but we'll get onto that in another show. So, all we've got to do is put the disc rotors on there, put them into the frame, charge the brakes with oil, get them all working, um, and then last, do the chain in the absolute black uh, graphene wax. So, that's what's to come. Almost there, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up, give me a share. And we'll see you on the next Kara's house. Maybe next time without the noise. See you, bye.